gentlemen. <clears throat> Dramatic lighting, please, for Ron Evans. Hello. Before I get started, I just want to take a moment to say a special thank you to Natalie and Donna and the other organizers, to Matt, to V, uh, to Ali for being the MCs, for all the other participants. Let's give them a big round of applause because they really work hard. All right, let's do this. I am Dead Program. In the real world, some people call me Ron, a couple people call me Dad, but the important part is I am Dead Program. And I am Technologist for Hire. That is my official title. I was told to be very subtle about these things. I run a micro consultancy called The Hybrid Group, where we are all technologists for hire. All right, that ends our commercial thing, but because I'm here to talk about open source, specifically TinyGo, because this is a small update about TinyGo. So TinyGo is a Go compiler for small places, like microcontrollers and WebAssembly. Uh, let's get the rundown of the current stats. 11,200 plus stars on GitHub. Thank you, people. Thank you. 612 forks, and over 100 contributors on our main repo. Wow, thank you, people. 88 different boards supported running TinyGo on microcontrollers. So uh, we have our release last month of TinyGo 0.24. A couple quick highlights. Generics, yes, you can run generics on Arduinos. Uh, lots of WASM and WASI improvements and Raspberry Pi RP2040 microcontroller support. And the TinyGo Playground has been updated. So if you haven't seen the TinyGo Playground, it is uh, similar to the Go Playground. Let's see if I can actually get the internet to work. Oh, yes, several. So it lets you simulate TinyGo in your browser by actual, on actual hardware simulation using WebAssembly that runs the exact same program. And then you can see here that it's actually blinking the blinky lights from this TinyGo code. So uh, go check it out, play.tinygo.org. Uh, you can push buttons, make lights, got displays, lots of cool things happening. All right. So. Things happening in the real world that other people are doing. Well, first of all, uh, Fermion, a really cool company in WebAssembly, um, they, Fermion Spin has really great support for TinyGo. Uh, recently at the Cloud Native Computing Foundation's WASM Day, they gave a great demo where they showed Fermion Spin with TinyGo-based responder in their web-based server that uses WebAssembly. The average response time was 150 microseconds. Microseconds. Wow. Let's check them out at fermion.com. Uh, Suborbital, another really cool company doing very interesting things with Go and WebAssembly. Their command line tool, SAT, has built in support for TinyGo since it's a WASI solution, and there is no support for that in the main Go, only TinyGo. So definitely check them out, Suborbital. Uh, the latest release from Fastly, we have a couple of our TinyGo team members who are full-timers at Fastly. The new Compute SDK for Go is out, and of course, TinyGo support. It is a bit experimental, so check it out and help them out. Lots of interesting things there. And uh, Tetrate Labs out of Japan has just released WA0, which is a WASM runtime written, written entirely in Go, and it works really great with TinyGo. So TinyGo compiled WebAssembly modules executing in the WebAssembly runtime written in Go. So it's Go from the top to the bottom. Pretty amazing stuff. Check it out. All right. So speaking of TinyGo on WA0, Philippe Charrier, a uh, fantastic programmer out of France is doing all sorts of interesting things. Uh, just recently, um, he was doing some experiments running WA0 with TinyGo and using it to query a couch-based database. And so this is actually working now, apparently. So check that out. Uh, TinyGo Wasm binary. Uh, so a regular Go Wasm binary, 1.3 megabytes. Actually, that should be an 8. 1.8 megabytes. Tiny Go Wasm binary, 96K. Sergey Kalivsky thought that was pretty amazing. I mean, yeah, size matters, and small is the new big. Keep that in mind. All right. Blues Wireless, a company that was started by the legendary Ray Ozzy. If you haven't heard of Ray Ozzy, check him out, former CTO of Microsoft. He's got a company, Blues Wireless. This was from the 
Embedded World Conference in Nuremberg, Germany recently, where he was giving a roundtable discussion with shout outs, of course, to Tiny Go. Yes, we're getting everywhere. So USB MIDI. So you have support in many different devices for USB MIDI. If you're a musician, you have a MIDI keyboard, you plug it in, you can play things. Well, one of our contributors, Takasago-san, has added USB MIDI support, which will be coming out in the very next release of Tiny Go. So you can have a microcontroller like GopherBot, plug it in and then play music directly from your push buttons or using your own brain waves. So lots of places to go with that. I'm ready for my Ibiza gig anytime, people. So uh, this is the GopherBot Prime helmet. And uh, I actually just saw this in real life for the first time two days ago. My colleague Daniel Esteban Conejo is an amazing developer, an amazing team member and contributor. So uh, he's been working on this for a couple of months in secret. This is him soldering a few last minute repairs. Naturally, like all the cool things, all the cool kids are wearing them. That's right, so join in, you're not too old. So GopherCon EU hardware hack session. If you did not get here uh, the very first day of the conference, actually it was day one, not day zero. I missed day zero myself. That was the social day. So we had a great hardware hack session out in the beer garden. That was a life uh, objective I didn't know I had until that very moment. Uh, so it was actually pretty incredible. Um, Frederick Baron thought it was incredible how TinyGo made it easy to talk to an Arduino board and had a great time. And all the rest of us did as well. So thank you so much for coming and participating, everyone. All right. Also, oh, misspelling in the title. Well, TinyGo Get In the Upper Hand was a brilliant talk given by Donna, who yesterday uh, really blew our minds with showing how TinyGo can be used in the real world for helping with the problem of keeping chickens at home. So that was pretty amazing. That was a great talk. And uh, we really appreciate all of their contributions. So please. All right. That pretty much runs the table of the latest things happening up through yesterday with TinyGo. So check us out at whoops, tinygolang. We're on tinygolang on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. You can also check us out. tinygo.org. Everything you need is on there. It's all on GitHub and Please join us. We're making the world smaller using Go. Thank you.